I am so thrilled to be here. I'm so happy to be here tonight to pay tribute to the great Darlene Love, who is finally getting her due. How I love Darlene Love. Joyous, beautiful, and free, this is Darlene Love. What a voice, what an unquenchable spirit, what a journey, and what a great, great artist. I'm particularly glad to be here because at least now when you Google Bette Midler Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, something <laughs> will come up. Those of us of a certain generation fell in love with music while glued to the radio. The songs and the voices coming over through the ether, they just drove you crazy. And no voice drove me crazier than Darlene Love. From the moment I experienced the powerhouse that is Darlene, I was a goner. And in a crazy way, she changed my view of the world. Listening to those songs, you had to dance. You had to move. You had to keep looking for the rebel boy. Really, because suddenly nobody wanted some buttoned-down guy who would be a good provider. <laughs> now we all wanted a guy who lived on the edge and who promised plenty of thrills. I wonder whatever became of that guy. Oh, that's right, I married him. <laughs> now he's drinking beer and thanking God I'm out of the house. Well, the 60s were a great time, and Darlene was the very embodiment of teen spirit in the 60s. The records she made as a young girl, singing lead and backgrounds for Phil Spector with and without credit, Sometimes as a member of the Blossoms, sometimes as a member of Bobby Sox and Blue Jeans, sometimes as a Crystal, and later backing up Sam Cooke, Aretha Elvis, Dionne Warwick, Cher, The Righteous Brothers. These records have remained in people's hearts. They are still played and loved all over the world. It's safe to say also that Christmas isn't officially here until Darlene Wales. Christmas, baby, please come home on the David Letterman Show, which she has done for the last 25 years. Her long and remarkable career has spanned 50 years and has been touched by both dark and light. She has been robbed of royalties, but never of self-respect. And yet she lives without a trace of bitterness. Gee, I wonder what that's like. <laughs> she keeps on singing because singing is what brings her joy. And boy, it brings me joy too. She sung her way home into our hearts and right into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. She has endured, she has prevailed. Let us take a look at this glorious career. I always dreamed the boy I loved would come along. And he'd be tall and handsome, rich and strong. Now that boy I love has come to me. But he sure ain't the way I thought he'd be. was on mostly all those lead songs. And we did all the background for the Crystals, the Ronettes, Bobby Sox, and the Blue Jeans, and the same people did Darling Love's background. So the sound continued to be the same. The day I met the boy I'm gonna we didn't sound black, we didn't sound white. Our sound could be anything they wanted it to sound like. to sing gospel music you can just express yourself in so many ways and probably if I never would have gotten into rock and roll or Phil Spector I probably would have geared my career of singing gospel
And now it is my honor and pleasure to induct into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and about time to one of the greatest voices in the history of rock and roll, Miss Darlene Love. <laughs> Good evening, friends, peers, and as of tonight, my fellow inductees. <laughs> Please join me in thanking Miss Bette Midler, one of the handful of superstars who always return my calls. <laughs> Bette, you are beautiful, damn it. <laughs> Bill Spector used to say, God made two musical geniuses, Beethoven, and Phil Spector. <laughs> well, when Paul Schaefer led the band on the most amazing wall of sound rendition of He's a Rebel, he nailed it and God created a third. <laughs> this year, in July, I will turn 70 years old. <laughs> This is the best gift that I could ever have. I have given over 50 years of my life as a solo artist, lead singer or backup singer, supporting acts from upcoming to the legendary. thankful for the genius of Phil Spector, for his recognition of my talent to be the main voice of his wall of sound. Steve Van Zandt for his continuous support and encouragement. Bruce Springsteen for his untiring advocacy. And the late Luther Vandross who would never enter a studio without me. musical <laughs> director Seth, my husband Alton, who I love and has been my backbone for over 27 years, all my friends, my children, Marcus, Sean, and Jason, and my two daughters, Rose and Alex, who I will never be able to love enough on. But last but not least, I would like to declare my faith in God and to acknowledge that according to the word, your ladder will be greater than your past. Thank you, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. I am truly honored and overwhelmed to be inducted into the class of 2011 by this distinction and to all those past, present, and future inductees. May God bless you all. My heart beats a little bit faster.
Please welcome Bette Midler.